Welcome back to the Subspace Games YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to be adding in an overhead cam um, to make things a little bit easier. And so uh, let's jump into, well, you know what, let's create it first. So let's go into the Data Explorer, go to Create Model Camera, Simple, we'll call this Overhead uh, Cam. Okay, so now we have an overhead cam. Uh, the next thing we're, we're going to want to do is we are going to want to create um, an AI model to go to, um, to handle the um, behavior of the overhead cam. So let's call this uh, overhead cam AI. All right. Okay, so now that we have our overhead cam, overhead cam AI in there, let's jump into the code. Okay, so the first thing uh, we'll want to do, let's go ahead and open that, um, the overhead. And we're going to do some pretty simple stuff. Um, all we're going to do is, um, let's add uh, an initializer. And we'll add an on enter frame. And let's add a couple of variables here. Um, the first thing we're going to want to do, uh, well, at least I always do this is uh, I create a, a link to the object and I'm sure you're familiar with this now. I've done it several times. So we do hcam. So this dot hcam equals this dot get object. Okay, so we've done that. We also want to create a variable to the target since this is a form of a chase cam. So we want to have a reference to what we are targeting. That'll be an object. So on the on initialize, let's do this dot h target. It's going to be application um, tagged. Oops. Oh man. Okay, and we're gonna do the ball like we did for the other one. So the idea is the overhead camera is going to move as the ball moves. Um, just in case you can't see the entire level or a wall or something gets in the way we want to be able to follow um, follow that make sure that everything's going okay so let's save that we'll close it now on the on enter frame let's jump in here and you know what uh, I'm gonna make things a little bit easier let's just paste the code in just like um, come on. There we go. All right. So I know I, I, I didn't want to do too much of this, but there's a lot of code that we're going to be doing uh, today. So all I did was I created a local X, Y, and Z, um, which is just the uh, translation of the ball. So we're just getting the location of the ball, and then we're just um, doing a translate to. So we're telling the camera to go to the uh, basically the location of the ball but we're going to add a value to the y uh, because we want it to be overhead so if we did x y and z exactly to match what the ball was obviously we'd be right on the ball uh, and we don't want to do that so as you'll notice the number that i'm adding to the y variable um, i called that n zoom so let's throw this variable in here it's a number we'll set the default to 80. Uh, this is so that in the future if I want to add a zoom feature I can do that pretty easy and I, in fact I plan to do that so um, you know you can adjust the zoom and it'll it'll focus the camera in or pull it in a little bit closer so for right now we'll just leave it as 80 and uh, we won't put any code in there to change that okay so let's save control s f7 to compile and I think we are done with the overhead cam so let's go ahead and put the overhead cam into the level. Uh, let's see here, models, overhead cam. Let's drag and drop it in there. Um, now this is gonna get adjusted based on the original call to the overhead cam, but let's go ahead and set it up um, to be where we want it, to, you know, where it should normally be. So the overhead cam is gonna be at zero x and, and z is zero and y axis is 85 because it's 80 units above um, 
the ball, which is at five units. Now, for the rotation on the x-axis, let's go with negative 90. Um, that should rotate the camera so that we can see the ball. So let's switch over to the Scene Explorer. Let's go ahead and go to Attributes, Camera, Set as Active Camera. Okay, so we can see that indeed uh, the overhead camera is now looking directly down at the ball. So I think we have that all set. Let's go ahead and save the scene. And let's jump back over to the code. Uh, because there's some things that we need to do. Obviously we need to wire up some functionality. Um, first thing I want to do though, actually let's, um, let's jump back over to general and let's go to the HUD editor and let's create a new component here. So this is going to be, we'll call this a uh, camera and the type is going to be a button and it's true visible position. Let's go with, um, zero zero and the origin is going to be the bottom left so the button sits in the bottom corner there the size let's go with 10 10 and let's keep the uh, ratio independent hmm, do we want to do that now let's go ahead and leave it as as dependent let's let's put it there uh, adjust the nearest pixels and that should be fine so for the appearance, let's go with a rounded rectangle. Uh, everything's fine there. Let's maybe adjust the opacity down a little bit. And okay, back texture's fine. Everything's fine. So the button itself, let's go toggle camera. And then in parentheses, I want to put a C, a C because that's what I want to use as the hot key to actually toggle the camera. And let's set UTF-8, default font's fine. But I do want to do anti-alias text. And maybe adjust this down just a little bit. Let's see what happens if we do 30. No, it's too small. Oops, zero. Let's go with uh, 35. Okay, that's still small, 40. Okay, that might be okay. Let's move the box out just a little bit so we can get it all on one line. Okay, that looks about right. Okay, so our button is in place. Um, we are going to have some click actions and stuff. And what I really want to have this be eventually is I want it to be a touch. So you can just touch it with your finger um, and have it work. But for now, if you remember with the um, aiming, the mouse is being constrained to the center of the screen. So we can't get the mouse over to, to click the button. So that's why I have this, um, we're going to do a hotkey. All right, so let's uh, save the HUD, close it. Let's jump back over to, let's go to the code now. So in the main, I have this, um, this event handler that I added before. I mentioned it, that I made it so that when we hit the escape key, it quits the application. And also if we hit F3, it'll restart. So this is where I put that code. Now I want to add some additional co code here um, and again I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this in okay so let's paste it in there alright so basically what we're doing here is we're saying that um, when the keyboard when the event is received where there's a key down we're gonna check to see if it's the C key if it is then we're gonna send event send an event to the the aim cam and it's going to be the event is gonna be on toggle camera so this is just going to be the ability to toggle back and forth between camera modes. So let's save that. Now the next thing we want to do is let's go into the, um, as long as we're thinking about it, let's go to the aim cam and you'll notice we don't have an event yet. So we're going to do a custom event. We'll call this on toggle camera. Okay. So what we want to do here is um, basically we're going to see which camera is currently um, selected and then we're going to switch to the other camera. So I'm going to add a Boolean va uh, value here. Uh, let's call this uh, B overhead. This is um, so we can keep track of whether or not we are in overhead mode. So we're going to start as false since we're not in overhead mode when the game starts. And so the code is going to be um, if this uh, be overhead 
then well, we're going to go ahead and um, switch over to the other camera so I'm gonna do this in a in a local variable and you'll see why in a second so we'll call it uh, current cam and the current cam will be switched over to chase cam I'm going off the screen there okay so if it's in overhead mode then when we toggle we want to switch over to the chase cam and the other thing we want to do is we're going to change the overhead mode to false so this dot to be overhead false save that okay now let's just copy and paste this code since it's pretty close to what we want paste it in we do else else if uh, well you know what we don't even have to do it else if we'll just do else and we will switch this to overhead cam and this will be true so if we're in chase cam mode then it is going to um, it's going to see that um, the overhead is false so it's going to come down to here switch the current cam over to overhead and then set the uh, overhead boolean value to true and so now we are going to say that the application will set the current user your active camera to H current cam. So just a little, we don't have to duplicate that code by putting it here at the end and we're good. Okay, so we'll compile that, save it, and let's move on to our next step. So I have current cam defined twice, and I've had some flaky issues with that. I haven't done any research to see if it's actually a Lua thing or something strange within Shiva. Um, but to fix that, let's just go ahead and we will define the, um, the camera up here separately, and then we'll make um, assignments to it there. So let's jump back over, hit play, launch the ball. Okay, so there we go. We're in overhead cam mode. You can see that it works, and when it jumps back over to, uh, when it gets idle, it jumps back over to here. So that's one of the things I'd like to change. 